the backyard builder here. Well, now we're here. We're finally to the point where we can begin the most exciting part of our experiment. And I'll be honest with you, I have not got a clue how this is going to turn out. It could turn out to be the most exciting discovery in mold making history, or it could be about as exciting as watching reruns of uh, Geraldo Rivera opening Al Capone's vault. Those of you who saw the episode will know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I've got here, uh, we have our model, it's all prepared, it's uh, been sealed, it's been waxed, and I've got a stainless steel bowl, bowl here for the acetone, and I've got my block of styrofoam and a, a knife to cut it up in case we need it. And uh, like I said, I have never done this before. I have got no idea what to expect. It could be a gooey mess that, that, that won't work at all. Or we could have we could have stumbled onto something great here. So just uh, I do know that this stuff is is going to be basically liquefied plastic. Um, you probably don't want to get it on your hands in any event. Uh, you don't want to get the acetone on your hands either. Um, now, as I explained earlier in the earlier videos, the uh, Acetone will basically uh, cause the uh, styrofoam to uh, melt and, and it will release all the uh, air that's inside the uh, styrofoam uh, that is currently puffing it up. Just uh, pour out a good amount of acetone into the bowl and I, I'm not sure what to expect here, whether this stuff is just going to melt real fast or if it's going to be uh, five years. I've never done this before. I don't know if the video I saw was on time lapse, but here goes. Let's do, oh, look at that. It just melts like that. And, oh, that, 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 that does melt fairly quick. Well, let's try the whole thing here and see what happens here. Oh yeah, that, uh, oh wow, this is going amazingly fast, it just melts it into a, one big goopy mess, I only hope that when the time comes it doesn't melt my gloves, that could be cute. <laughs> mm. Now I chose an app, a, uh, stainless steel bowl because uh, the acetone won't react on that. I did look that up before I started this experiment. Google is wonderful for lots of things. Forgive me if I swat a bit. We've got lots of mosquitoes out here tonight. The, oh look at the acid. That just melting that right down. Now, I don't know whether or not this is going to uh, get hard again. That's going to be one of the big things about this experiment. Okay, we've got a nice goopy mass here. Um, the idea, what we're going to do, we're going to try and take it and like that, and we're going to try and get it to cover our our project here we seem to be sliding all over the place getting it even is definitely going to be an issue I can see that but the idea the idea here is that uh, in theory anyways the acetone melts the plastic and then the acetone should eventually evaporate. I'm not sure whether that's going to take a day or two or an hour or two or a week or two. I really don't know. Um, but we're going to find out just how well this works. We, we covered up. We're going to try and make a bit of a wing here. Try and get everything evenly covered. And 
Note that I'm doing this outside because this is stuff's got a lot of fumes to it. And just continue to play around with this. And well, the gloves seem to be holding up, so make note of that. Nitro gloves seem to work well with this. We want to give ourselves a bit of a lip at the bottom here, and hopefully we've got enough uh, enough uh, coverage here. Now I don't know. There's lots of I don't knows in this experiment here. Like I say, I just saw it on. Uh, a video how they how they melted the the styrofoam and I thought geez you know like I mean that could be a really interesting thing to try here so seems to be doing good here the the polymer bonds are reforming here as the you, know, you can see it getting all stringy here as the as the acetone evaporates I don't know whether we're going to be left with something that's hard enough that you can actually cast with or just going to always be a soft goopy mess. I really don't know. You know this, uh, this is going to be a mystery. Oh, let's try and get that corner, cover that corner. Let's just kind of pat it out, spread it out, work it all together while it's still soft. Get, get yourself a little bit of a, a, a lip around the edge here and this is where the Lazy Susan comes in real handy for spinning stuff around like this. It seems to be hardening up a bit as we go uh, and getting stickier <laughs> so who knows this might work. <laughs> But I think what we're going to have to do, I think what we will do at this point in time, I seem to have the entire model covered, uh, fairly even, uh, fairly even coat, and yeah, yeah, you put it back in and it gets all nice and soft again. So that is good to know. If you need to go over a spot again I guess you can put a little bit of acetone on it and rework it. I have these mosquitoes are getting crazy tonight here. Someone just keeps trying to get me on the neck there. So do now. We seem to have everything nicely covered and what we're going to do, I think we're just going to let this uh, sit outside and cure for a day or two before we attempt to take it off and we'll see you in a couple of days for the big reveal.